In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at two techniques for adding content to an existing project. One is to overlay, the other is to replace. We'd like to show you how they're alike and how they're different and how they impact your project. So we need a project. We'll uh, click on Project Assets up in the top and take just a couple of these uh, clips and drop them into our timeline. Hold on the left mouse button and drop it and drag it and they will stick one to the other. And so we have a, a clip of a couple on a beach. We'll make this smaller so we can see it and then play it. They're having fun on the beach and then it will drop quickly right to this second clip of a man swimming athletically in a swimming pool. So what I'd like to do in this particular case is I'd like to say I don't want my whole project to be any longer but I want to replace part of what I see here with something else. That is called overlay. Let me click on project assets again. If I take and drag it down the default will be it will simply insert itself and push everything to the right. That's called ripple. Now I don't want the project to be longer so I'm not going to do it that way. I'll do Control Z to undo that. In order to overlay I do it about the same way. I highlight the clip I'm going to overlay but I hold the Control key down and with the Control key held down I put it wherever I want it. Let's take it at the beginning of the clip and then I let go and now what it's done it's totally replaced the beginning, in this case, of the second clip. It has now uh, inserted itself on top of that. And so now my second clip of my swimmer, when I go ahead and preview this, uh, will start in progress because the first frames of that clip have been completely replaced by my overlay. So when you run into a situation where you need to replace something, uh, without changing the duration of the entire project. You can use this overlay method to do that. I'll do Control Z to get out of that. Another slightly different way of doing the same thing is something called replace. Now what is, what's the difference here? Let's assume that we have this first clip uh, with this couple on the beach. And what I want to do is I want to replace that clip with, with another clip. But I, again, I don't want to change the length of the project. So if I have this clip here of the forest, let's say I replace it with the forest, but I don't want it to shrink because you notice the forest is 12 seconds long and this clip is 29 seconds, 13 frames long. If I want to replace it, I can right click on it. Then I choose clip from the pop-up menu and then replace clip from project assets. It will go to whatever clip I have highlighted. Now it gives me a warning that it's shorter and that black frames will fill up the remaining part. I'll say yes. And so what we have here, we preserved everything else in order, but when we get to the end of our 12 seconds on this clip, uh, Let's go to 11, 1107 here and play it. Then it turns to black. So we'd have to do something if we don't want a black segment. But we've preserved the location of everything else in our timeline that's to the right. So that's what that option does if it's shorter. I'll do Control Z to undo that. Now what if the clip is longer? Let's take this clip that's 37 seconds long. And we'll right click again on our first clip. We'll click on clip again. We'll do replace clip from project assets. And when we click on that, notice the length didn't change, but the duration of the clip did. What it will do if it's longer is it will shrink it. This is 2913, the same length of the original clip. Everything else on this clip has been trimmed away. So that's the difference between an overlay, which simply takes 100% of the clip, places it on top of whatever's underneath, and the replace, which will actually fill that same clip space um, with the clip, if it's big enough, trimmed if necessary, 
or if it's smaller with the clip plus black frames. But in either in, in that case, you're preserving the length of your project as you are really with the overlay. So these are two different ways in which you can accomplish similar tasks without changing the duration of your entire project using overlay and replace in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018.